The drifter isn't drifting anymore. He's working harder than ever. And now he's directing one of his own films. Are you using that one? Yeah. I think if you go through and he drags the thing around and they come through this way, kind of go with this action. If you can be down on the ground, you can probably miss me on the head. Okay, good. <laughs> It's the most natural, logical thing for him to do. To be in command, to have total control, not only on the screen, but behind the scenes as well. And like everything else Clint Eastwood does, there's that need to do it well, to give it all he's got, and then some. It's just barely after sunrise, but Clint's already hard at work, setting up the next scene. Fred. All right, action! One thing is especially outstanding. Okay, Walter, keep acting. <laughs> the crew is a happy one in spite of the long hours and longer weeks, in spite of the alkali that burns the eyes, in spite of the pace and pressure. It's a loyal crew, because Clint inspires that kind of loyalty and enthusiasm inspires it because he himself is that kind of guy. The name of the film is High Plains Drifter. And Clint's learned already that it's not easy to wear two hats. So he uses every technique available, like video playback, so that Clint the director can be objective about Clint the actor. And he listens. The whole crew wants this film to be great. And their suggestions are more than welcome. He's everywhere at once, has his eye on every little detail. There's no end of things that demand his attention. So he gives it, sometimes quietly, inwardly, without even seeming to. Often expressively, speaking softly, his hands moving restlessly. And where does he go from here? This quiet man whose face and name millions know, yet no one really knows. Clint Eastwood isn't one to talk about himself. He's his own man and still very much the loner. But you can bet on one thing, he's going to be around making films for a long time to come. And whether or not they're action-packed westerns with a touch of macabre morality like High Plains Drifter, they'll have two things in common. That Clint Eastwood magic. And they'll always be entertaining because it's his conviction that that's what films are all about.